ordeal of Pope John XXIII is ended. The pontiff is dead. His lingering illness brought thousands to pray outside of his apartment window. Day and night they filled St. Peter's Square, and their prayers were echoed by those of people around the world. This was a pope who had won the respect and homage of all, a humanitarian and man of God, who spent a long and fruitful life on behalf of his fellow man. Above all, he labored for the dignity of the human spirit. Peace among nations was ever uppermost in his heart and mind. The heart is stilled, but the fruit of that great mind will influence man into the dim reaches of infinity. Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli, the son of poor farmers, has left indelible footprints behind. His indomitable spirit fought death during four days of suffering. He thought little of himself, his only concern the future of his church. When the great doors of St. Peter's close symbolically, the world is told the end has come, the Pope is dead. Pope John enlarged the College of Cardinals to an unprecedented 85 members. It will now be the duty of these princes of the church to meet in conclave after 15 days and choose one of their number to succeed to the throne of St. Peter. The Pope's dying wish was that his successor will continue the ecumenical council, the meeting of church prelates that has brought the Catholic Church into close contact with all faiths. The council was the crowning achievement of his life. Pope John, 23rd, to all he has left a legacy of greatness. Thank you.